I'm joined by Dr. Rakesh Kumar, Director General, EPCH. Uh, sir, this is handicraft and gift show, wholesale trade show. What is the idea behind it and how many participants are there? See, uh, IIGF Delhi Fair, uh, which is uh, popularly known as a Indian Handicraft Gift Fair also, uh, is a very renowned fair. Uh, and as per the Limka Buka World Record, this is the world largest congregation of the handicraft producers. Uh, and this show uh, is basically a B2B show. Uh, and the buyers from all over the world, uh, globe, uh, they come here. When I say buyer, they are the all wholesaler, importers, uh, departmental stores, and the retailers, and the, and the big companies. Uh, about uh, 2,600 exhibitors from entire country, they participate, and they are manufacturers, exporters. And similarly, uh, the overseas buyer, more than 5,000 buyers, they do come here from uh, different countries to our entire globe and they uh, they buy here so this is the single sourcing point for the home lifestyle fashion furniture gift uh, and textiles uh, sir uh, uh, only few months back uh, government of india uh, has come up with a msme sectors pli profit linked incentive how do you think that is trying uh, going to help the industry indian exporters and uh, uh, that should reflect also in the num because the volume of business that they do and the and you are also facilitating uh, the the wholesale buyers and wholesale seller coming together see the government of india has uh, many schemes and msme also has the pli and other scheme uh, every scheme is not definitely benefiting everyone but somehow the government support is there uh, to every exporter in the country and so with us and uh, our exporters are even much smaller than uh, uh, to avail this scheme because they are the exporter who are from the grassroots level they are the uh, uh, the small people particularly uh, when i kiss when i can say uh, they are the uh, macro level exporter so these uh, micro and macro level exporter uh, they are uh, participating in this show and they are benefited and it is directly benefiting the craftspersons who are from the small and weaker section of the society about 7 million craftspersons are engaged in the exports uh, in the uh, production of the handicraft from the country and uh, so the handicraft producers are linked with them and uh, they give the benefit of uh, employment and livelihood to this sector. Uh, you have raised a pertinent question about that uh, all the handicraft people or all the people in MSME sector are not benefiting. What would be your advice, if at all, uh, to the government of India so that they can include these uh, sectors and these uh, much needed uh, uh, people who are working at the grassroots level, which is whom you are also trying to promote at a very uh, generous way or at a bigger uh, world stage? The government has many schemes which are uh, uh, already provided to the handicraft sector. And uh, there are certain schemes which are for the larger one. So definitely there are the criteria, uh, you can say the kind of a, uh, the minimum uh, criteria in terms of the performance and uh, the numbers. So uh, our exporters are the, uh, with the lower numbers, but there are schemes for the uh, exporters who are on the, uh, less than the, that number which is uh, required in the PLI. Uh, what is the uh, volume of business we are looking and what is the area span and the number of uh, exhibitors that uh, you are expecting and uh, how how do you feel that the Indian uh, uh, MSME sector will benefit out of it? See, over 160,000 square meter space is being occupied in this show. And uh, that's why I said that over uh, 2,600 exhibitors participating from the entire country, uh, they, are, uh, they are present in the show. Uh, the uh, fair uh, gives the direct benefit uh, in terms of order procurement and uh, over uh, 4,000 crore rupees of the spot orders are booked by the uh, exporters over there uh, and at the same time this gives a quantum jump in the uh, because the repeat business is there uh, during the year. So once the uh, uh, channels are established, once the contacts are st established, then certainly uh, there are going to be repeat orders effect for that. So the fair is very important from the economic point of view and uh, ultimately the items are being produced in the cottage sector by the craftsperson uh, who are from small and weaker section of the society and then later on 
these uh, these caste persons are benefited while they are producing the goods. Uh, one last question. Uh, uh, this is a f mostly a B2B or a wholesaler a marketers uh, 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 concentration. Uh, general public, I understand, is also uh, given a motivation to uh, participate in it. Uh, what should be the verticals that they would be interested or uh, what are the key areas that you would like to highlight to our uh, viewers? See, the show is a uh, business to business show. When we say business to business, that means the wholesaler, importer, department stores, retailers, uh, who wants to buy to sell. Later on, they have to uh, first they buy and they, then they sell. So, it is not a consumer show. So, uh, the show is successful that way. The reason is all the uh, sellers, uh, for them, it is a single sourcing point. For them, this is the one place. Uh, we are under one umbrella, everything related to the home, lifestyle, fashion, furniture, gift. All these items are available at one room, one place under under one umbrella, uh, and uh, there is no retail sale. The reason is the uh, focus is basically to book the orders. So that focus is lost if they go for the retail sale or the general public is invited. So that is the reason uh, the focus uh, is very clear and the show is very very clear in terms of uh, business. Yes, indeed, it is a very, very landmark and much-awaited show. That is, uh, we what we uh, what the uh, merchandiser and the industry looks for if, if they talk about uh, a handicraft in India. Uh, uh, thank you very much for the time and all the best for the show businesses that would be participating here. With camera person Uday Negi, Prana Prakar reporting for Vision Television World.